We are explorers! We're going to take a white rock. See, there's nothing on it. Limestone, just what we're standing on, the same stuff. Same thing. So that's our bed rock, okay? So if you think water doesn't flow through rock, you're going to find out because this is water with some coloring in it. And throughout the day, check out this rock and see what it's doing. We have the pinger. So the pinger is a device that Christina and Brian put into the cave. It sends out a signal through the limestone, and then the kids can track it with a sort of radio locator that has a pinging. And based on how loud it is, they follow it, follow it, follow it until it stops pinging, which means they're directly over it. By coincidence, it happens to be right under the latrine, the porta potty. So the kids can at least conceptualize that whatever would go down here, whether it's sewage, whether it's pesticides, whether it's fertilizers, will actually end up right in the cave, which is where we drill into to get our drinking water. You guys are right on track. And the pinger is right underneath our feet. So that means that Dan's cave, where Brian enters in from the blue hole over there, Goes all the way out here. Toilet's full of mysteries. <laughs> I really thought that it'd be really disgusting that if you build your house on top of it, like the septic tank might leak and it'll like leak into the water and you'd be drinking um nasty waste like water. That was disgusting. disgusting. And that the pinger was actually under the toilet. And that it shouldn't be there because all the waste then goes down the blue hole if it was actually a real toilet. 